Welcome back to the Stanley Parable! <clears throat> Last time we decided that we were just going to follow all the directions because that seemed like the right thing to do. And we got Stanley a neat ending. Stanley never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it <clears throat> was. Well, <clears throat> let's see what happens if we turn on uh, on the the mind control when machine came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left i think the triggers are that behind not a single person here either feeling a wave of disbelief stanley decided to go up to his boss's oh no oh no 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 not again i won't be part of this i'm not going to encourage you i'm not going to say anything at all I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Yeah, that's all he says. <clears throat> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. See, the next run will be the interesting point where everything is different. Ooh. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, uh, looking behind shouldn't. paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Nope. <clears throat> anxiety wasn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Uh, this way. And then... Here we go. And here we go. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Where the fight is on, call extension 914 immediately. Okay. Huh. Things you find out walking through a game backwards. on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? There's a balcony up there. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. <clears throat> Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? <coughs> But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad, 
or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. You guys ready? He would dismantle the controls once and for all. You guys ready? You guys ready? We're gonna, we're gonna turn it on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? No. After they kept you no. saved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and... Come on, leave. come on. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent... Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Hey! And that's... 
the second ending that we're covering on Let's Play The Stanley Parable. Next time, we turn a little, we deviate from the path a little bit earlier. See you guys next time.